So first of all, how, how are you? T how are you today, Sherry? I am great. Thank you, Naomi. Thank you for having me. No problem. And thank you for coming out and battling the traffic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's just the necessary evil of living in Southern California. What do, what do you do? Yeah, no problem. So for all the our readers and listeners, because mm -hmm. I also do have a radio podcast, I'm going to mm -hmm. cross-promote, cross I'm going to put you on the radio podcast too. Okay. So then, Very so cool. for the listeners and the readers out there, can you just give them a brief of who Sherry Bryant is and a little bit about your journey? Oh, wow. <laughs> and how much time you said we have? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's see. I I've been in music ministry for several years now. I started out at St. Stephen uh, Missionary Baptist Church in La Puente. E.W. Oh. McCall was my pastor, was there for several years, and um, began singing in the choir, singing on the worship team, and you know, and it just went from there, you know, and I started um, singing in different groups. One of the main groups that I was in was Brent Jones and the TP Mob, <laughs> you know, Brent Jones and the TP Mob, yes, in the 90s, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, and from there, oh my gosh, um, I went on to be one of the worship leaders at um, Faith Community Church, um, Dr. Jim Reeve, pastor there. Then, I, it's, been, it's been a journey. So you asked the question, Naomi, okay? So now just you. you're going to get the answer. And then I was um, asked to be the worship leader at a church out in Inglewood, Vision um, Church, International Church, and uh, Pastor Sarah Morgan and Bishop Peter Morgan. And when I left there, I'm not a church hopper, for real. You know, I mean, it was like years. Yeah. This is like years, okay? And from there, I went to um, a church out in Fontana, which is where I'm at now. Okay. You know, praise God, Dr. Pastor Dan, I love you so much. Thank you, Pastor Dan, for all you do for us at Water of Life. I've been there for many years. Dan Carroll is the senior pastor there. And gosh, it's been it's been an amazing journey. It's been some years right. since I've been doing this music thing. So <laughs> now I Got have you. a new project, True Worship. I have two other projects. I have um, I Found the One and I have <laughs> Made to Praise. And so this is my third baby. <laughs> awesome and then with your ministry let's see which question do I want to ask next <laughs> okay. I got two uh, okay we'll do well, we'll talk about the project next so with true, mm -hmm. with true worship I was just mm -hmm. listening to it before you came you okay? I definitely like I definitely love the the I mean tongue, tongue twist I definitely like the contemporary oh. style definitely, definitely love your style so Thank can you, you give what can people expect from true worship wow okay well <laughs> You heard it. <laughs> so what can they expect? They can expect to hear, um, yes, yeah, something contemporary, but, but heart-provoking, something that will draw them into the presence of God, you know, something that will provoke them and pull them into the presence. And I, I believe that there's an anointing. There's an anointing on each yeah. song because those songs were birthed out of out of life and difficulty in life and overcoming. And, and um, when they listen to the project, they can expect to have a genuine encounter with yeah. the resurrected Christ. <laughs> so absolutely, get it, go <laughs> iTunes. Um, you could always go to Amazon. You can go to Spotify, you know, wherever you like to get music from, you can go and get this true worship. And so thank you in advance for that. But yeah, it, you know, I'm, I love the project and I've gotten a lot of good response from people about the project. And uh, yeah, so that that's in a nutshell <laughs> what they can expect to hear when they listen to the songs. Awesome. And then with your ministry, I know you're all, you also do international. Okay, I was reading like you've been asked to come to like um, Congo, Ghana, and there's like so yeah, many, so yeah. many other places. So how uh -huh. has it been doing your min your ministry internationally? And well, the the ministry internationally, ah, okay, the ministry internationally has been, oh wow, it's been a miracle. You know, I I never called anybody and said, hey, invite me to come to Africa. I, it, it was 
it blows my mind when you do the thing that, that God has right. equipped you to do, you know, the Bible says that your gift will make room for you. And that has happened throughout these years. And I've had people call and, requ and request ministry in different parts of the world. And as you were reading in my bio, there, there were several opportunities that I've had to travel to different parts of Africa. I've been to Ghana. I've been to uh, Zimbabwe. I've been to Malawi. I've been to South Africa. I've been to the Congo. <laughs> you know, I've been to these places and it just blows my mind, you know, that, that the doors have opened for me. Um, just all over the world. I've been to, uh, I've been to London, and I've, I've, awesome. I've, I've had the opportunity to to share God's love um, with people in places that I, I would have, I couldn't have dreamed of, you know. But that's just the start because I believe God is going to do more. Yeah. But just a testimony from from my Congo journey. Wow, I was partnering with Jesus Alive Ministries, and they asked that I would lead worship at their open air crusade in the Congo. And I didn't know what to expect. I, of course, I said yes. I mean, <laughs> like, what are you going to say? No? Yeah. Like, no, I don't want to go to the Congo and lead worship. You know. But of course, I said yes. And, and it's amazing when you do say yes, when you do accept the invitation you, and you feel that it's from God and you, and you say, okay, I'm going. Wherever yeah. you need me, God, I will, I will follow. I will go. I said yes. And, and the opportunity, um, thank you. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. I hope uh, we can get some more. That would be great because I want to hear what you have to say too. Okay. So, um, but the opportunity to, to go to the Congo was amazing because I saw 140,000 people um, show up. In, in one night <laughs> to hear That's the awesome. gospel, to hear the good news, to hear that God is a healer, to hear that he's a deliverer. Because see, in the Congo, they don't, they don't have all of the things that we have here. I mean, we have doctors here. We have lawyers here. We have you know, all of the infrastructure here in America that they just simply don't have there. And so they are desperate for God, they're they're desperate for the for a move from God, and when they heard that that a man was coming <laughs> to preach about this Jesus, Peter Pretorius is the founder of Jesus Alive Ministries, and and when they heard about that, and it was advertised for months before we came. These people showed up. I mean, they were on bicycles and they walked and, awesome. you know, they were carrying the babies on the back and, <laughs> and they with no shoes and whatever. They didn't care. They just got there. And when they showed up desperate for a word from God, God honored that and he showed up <laughs> and manifested himself it was miracles after miracle after miracle i got the opportunity to lead worship and uh, they speak french in, in the Congo. Yeah, gotcha. and so, right, and so I had an interpreter, and um, the interpreter would just share with them everything that, that I was saying, yeah. and and it was so cool because I was setting up one of the songs from my previous album, and, and it's called I'm Free. And so I said, you know, is anybody free? And they, and they cried out, yes, okay. And I said, I want all the free people to just lift your hands before the Lord. And 140,000 people just like, this wave. I, it was just, it blew my mind. I mean, this has to be like Michael Jackson Beatles stuff, you know. I, just the energy and the passion and the love coming from these people was just, it was mind-blowing. And then I said... I want to see, I want to see you dance before the Lord. And 140,000 people begin to dance. That's I awesome. mean, wild dancing before God and there's just dust flying everywhere. <laughs> it was, it blew my mind. It totally That's blew awesome. my mind. And I said, repeat after me, say, I am free. And in perfect English, 140,000 people said, I am am free and they were chanting I <laughs> am free I am free and I you know what they didn't know it but they were making a prophetic declaration over their lives right they were saying God I am free 
because I went on to tell them that he who the son sets free is free indeed. And they embraced the truth of that. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, Naomi. <laughs> See how much time we got? No, okay. <laughs> we're good. Okay. <laughs> I am telling you, there, there were healings. Uh, there were people that were in wheelchairs that got up that day. There were blind people that saw that day. There were people that were deaf that heard that day. Blew my mind. So that's the kind of stuff that happens when you embrace the gospel and you embrace the truth of the word of God and and. And I've gotten to witness that with my own eyes. It's just, what's your <laughs> that's, <next> awesome. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. And then speaking on, speaking on that and staying mm -hmm. on that same note, mm -hmm. like now that you have your album, True Worship, and mm -hmm. like your tease, do you have like any, I know you're probably working on more um, concerts and conferences. So mm -hmm. what's next with you before, like before 20, 2017 ends and as mm -hmm. 2018 unfolds, what's next for well, you? Well, I have several more interviews <laughs> lined up with wonderful <laughs> people like you, you know, so thank you, because you know, this helps yeah. to get the, get the word out about True Worship. Um, so I have interviews scheduled, and of course I'm still um, singing at, at the churches that, that I partner with. I partner with my church, Water of Life, and so I'm one of their main worship leaders there, so you can always catch me there at Water of Life. I'm also a worship leader at City Blessing Church, so in, in um, uh, Walnut, oh, gosh, <laughs> in Walnut, so you can always see me there as well. Um, yeah, so I was recently nominated for People's oh, Choice yeah, Award, so yeah, so that <laughs> unveiling will be on the 11th of, of this month, so hopefully cool. I'll win that, you know, we, we don't know what God has in store with that. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm following through with the interviews and getting the gotcha. word out about True Worship, and, and um, I'm also partnering with with a producer to pull together the footage from the CD release concert and so oh, that cool. will be out um, in about two or three weeks I will have all of that edited in together and packaged gotcha. together you know so that uh, I can sell that as a compliment to the CD so gotcha. so yeah Cool. And then for the Inland Empire People's Awards, are they going to be? Are they going to have like an awards show, or is it just yeah, like? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, okay. apparently they are. Cool. Yeah. So hey, you know, Sorry. I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we we'll have to wait yeah. until the eleventh. <laughs> Got you. So where are you look? Where are you looking forward to the most? Um, for that day oh my gosh for that day I don't know about that day but <laughs> you know just, just in or general or just leading up to it yeah okay in general, just in yeah. general what <laughs> I am looking forward to is true worshipers rising up and getting in position and utilizing their gift and their weapon of worship to push back darkness and I believe that that true worship is not just an album it's not just a record it's not just a you know, something that I thought up in my head. I believe that this um, this is a movement that God has sanctioned, that he has blessed, that he has endorsed. And I know that true worship is the thing that invokes the presence of God. And when we worship him in spirit and in truth, he comes. He comes and he brings healing. You know, our nation needs healing right now. And, and it breaks my heart. Uh, to see believers at odds with one another. And, and I know that it breaks God's heart. So my desire is just to be an instrument of hope and encouragement to the body of Christ, to put the racial things aside, to, to put political differences aside, to put uh, all of these non-essential things aside and enter in as the body of Christ into that place of true worship so that we can be an example to the world. They need to see a church that's unified. Yeah. They need to see the power of God manifested in a, a, a real church, in an authentic church. Because people, they, they're drawn to power. So yeah. my prayer, my prayer, as I move forward with true worship, is, is to provoke God's people to come together and worship God. Not with religion, 
not tradition. You know, you heard the you heard yeah. the album. I mean, it's it's <laughs> yeah. kind of contemporary. Yeah. You know, so not not with a bunch of religion and tradition because that's that hasn't saved anybody. You know, right. but true worship invokes the presence of God, and when He shows up. Then right. he brings healing. Then he brings restoration. He brings hope, and he brings the nations together. Right, awesome. And then, since you're walking in your and your purpose, what's what's your advice for others um, to fully walk in their purpose? Because kind of like many people, mm-hmm. like everybody knows, like the like the verse, walk walk by faith, not by sight. But you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you know, as people will get like discouraged mm-hmm. or will say, like. Like, oh, God, like, I know, like, this is, my, like, my purpose, but it's just getting too hard. So, like, what's your, like, advice and words of encouragement for those? Mm-hmm. I would say persevere. You know, persevere. Uh, just press towards the mark of the high <laughs> calling in Christ Jesus. Just keep pressing. Yeah, you know, because we, we know the thing, and I believe that, that we're equipped from birth to do the thing that God has, has empowered us to do and equipped us to do. He gives us those gifts um, when we're born, you know, yeah. and it's up to us to to explore and to grow in in that. But don't get weary in well doing, because we will mm-hmm. reap a harvest if we faint not. The world needs us. It needs us. It's it's bigger than us. Yeah, you know, <laughs> us walking in our destiny. It's bigger than us. Okay, so if you're out there and if you are you know, I have this idea, you know, I have this this record that I want to do, but, you know, everybody else is doing it. We don't, we don't need, no, we do need your record. We need your songs. We need the thing that God has placed in you. If you, there's a book that you've been wanting to write, and you oh, well, I just don't know how to do it. I just, who do I go with? What do I do? Go to God. Ask Him for strategy. If he's placed that desire in your heart, then he will he'll show you how to do it. You got to take some steps, though. I mean, and I'm sure you could speak to that as well. I mean, yeah. with your with you being the editor, oh my gosh, of West Side Story News, really? You know, and, I, and I'm not gonna ask you. Oh, you you look pretty young to me. Okay, so there's young people that need to press into their calling, press into their gifts, and allow God to use them, and expose all that he's placed inside of them for his glory, for his glory. You know, and it's not going to be easy. I mean, who said, whoever said that anything worth having is easy to get, but it's worth it. Right. It's worth it. Awesome. Thank you, Sherry. And then, I just had another question. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I went mind blank. Okay. Let's see. All right, come on, come on, come on. You're All not right. that old now. You, you cannot be losing track. Oh, I'll be, I'll be 30 in two weeks. Oh, yeah, no way. Yeah, yeah, no no way. way. Well, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. So, come on, right. come on, come on. What's the next All question? Right, what's <laughs> All right, I just had it too, huh? Hey, <laughs> I'm really good. I'm really good. I have a little Maya. Oh my! Okay, okay I remember it. it now. Okay, okay so, it. Okay. <laughs> so with the purpose, um, going like, going back to like our purpose, mm-hmm. like what was what has been one of your hardest hardest points in life, and then how did you overcome that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, um, well, and I've shared this on other interviews before, but um, probably one of the hardest hardest things that that I had to overcome in mm-hmm. recent memory was uh, my home being in foreclosure. And that was scary because I just, I, you know, I'm, uh, you know, so it's, I, I'm like, God, what, what are we going to do? What, what are we going to do? I'm out here and I feel like I'm doing the thing that you've called me to do and getting in, into one of those adjustable, you know, oh, yeah. loans and it, it kept yeah. adjusting and adjusting and adjusting and it adjusted so much. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't afford it anymore. And and it was a scary place. It was a very, very frightening place to be, because all of my family's in Florida. I, I'm, I'm just like I said. I'm serious. It's me and Jesus out here in Southern California, and I have had no intentions of going back to Mama. 
I was not calling. <laughs> um, I don't no. I don't run back home. I don't. Ain't no no disre disrespect for those that do, but this little girl <laughs> made a decision to tough it out yeah. and to see what God was gonna do. And he showed up so miraculously. I, I was at my wit's end. I had applied and applied and applied for modifications. And at the 11th hour, mind you, I mean, my house is on the chopping block. <laughs> They're getting ready to sell my house the next day. And, and, I, and people were telling me to just go ahead and get some boxes to pack up your stuff. Because, look, God is telling you that it is time to move on. I'm like, he ain't tell me that. <laughs> so I don't know what yeah. your God said, but my God didn't tell me that. He told me that he was greater. Right. He told me that he was greater than the banks, that he was greater than this difficulty, that he was bigger than that. So I persevered just by the grace of God. I persevered. So I got the call one, one morning, early in the morning. I, he told me to paint my mother's room because she comes and visit, visits me several times throughout the year. So I did that, and I was painting and just believing him and just praying, and he kept speaking to my heart that he was greater, that he was bigger, and not to fret and don't fear. And then my faith began to get stronger as I'm painting the room and I'm just believing God for a miracle. The phone rang. Just when I finished painting, because I painted all through the night, you know, because I don't know if you're a creative person, yeah. you know, and you just get in that yeah. creative place, and, <laughs> and I was painting all through the night, phone rang, and I got the call, and the lady says, um, uh, Sherry, uh, I just wanted to give you a courtesy call, and I'm like, oh, no, courtesy call, because I had heard that before. <laughs> gotcha. She says, no, 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 I, I wanted to give you a courtesy call to let you know that your modification had been approved. Awesome. Oh, my That's gosh, awesome. Naomi. Yeah. Naomi. That was awesome. <laughs> Honey. That was, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best call. Oh, and it was right before Christmas, too. This was a few years ago. It was right before Christmas, and my mom was coming for Christmas, as she always does, and it was the best Christmas ever. <laughs> So it was, it was difficult though, but out of that experience, I wrote a song <laughs> and you probably heard it when you listened yeah. to the album and it's called, I, I'm greater, I'm greater. And people have been telling me over these past few months as they've, they've listened to the album and they've keyed in on that song and they say, you know what, Sherry, there's such an anointing on that song because I feel what you were going through and I'm I'm so there right now and I need to know that God is greater and I'm and I put that song on repeat and I keep listening and listening to that song <laughs> and I'm praying that not just those people but people that are going to buy the album that they would key in and get locked into that anointing that's on that song and get there get their breakthrough too I did you know yeah. so yeah What's your next question? So that is just That's in awesome. recent memory, um, something that God has coached me through as, yeah. as I've overcome. That's so. awesome. Powerful, powerful awesome. woman of God. Oh, awesome. God. oh bless you, bless you. <laughs> He's in ministry too. Amen. <laughs> and then the next question, a little, a, a fun question. Okay, we'll good. Wait till the phone goes Okay, off. we got to wait till the phone goes Okay. Phone is ringing, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, the, all right, so a fun question. What's one unknown fact about Miss Sherry Bryant that people do not know? An unknown yeah, fact yeah. about Sherry Bryant? That I'm shy. <laughs> but you don't seem shy. I, I am. I am. I am so yeah. shy. <laughs> you don't seem shy. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. I mean, I, I am, I know, really, I know this is sort of unbelievable, but I'm... I'm shy. In in certain social situations, I can be really reserved and really kind of a wallflower and, and really shy. And I know it's just hard to believe this, but for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I guess... Yeah, I guess well, I know they say like a lot of people like singers and stuff, and um, a lot of them say they're shy. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, and it's, and it's like you put me on stage yeah. and you put a mic in my hand, and you know it's all over, you know, yeah. getting me in front of a camera. But but just in yeah. general, you know, I'm I'm a homebody. 
you know, I don't really <laughs> like crowds that much. <laughs> yeah, really, can you imagine? I was I was with 140,000 people in the Congo, yeah. and, and but just to be when I'm not in a ministry mode, gotcha. I just you know I'm good. Just, just, like, you know, watch some football on a Sunday yeah. afternoon. You know, I'm, gotcha. I'm good. That's one of one of your, one of your pastimes, right? Football. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love versus, to watch yeah, football. Or some of your other pastimes that you do when you're not when you're in, well, you're not ministering. Oh, I love to work out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love to work out. I'm a real, you know, fitness buff, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Trying to keep up, <laughs> trying to keep up with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I like to work out. I like to, you know, I like to go to the movies, you know, all the normal stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. Got you. And then, so what, what are you looking forward to most within, I would say, the next, let's see, one, one to two years? One oh, to yeah, two years. Yeah. Wow, I'm praying that that God would open the door, open the doors, uh, plural, <laughs> for for me to travel even more with this project. Like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to Australia. I'm looking yeah, forward. Australia would be nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Japan. I'm I'm looking forward to Indonesia. I, I'm looking forward to Germany. Um, I I, I want to go to the ends of the earth <laughs> and share the goodness of God. I don't consider myself uh, to be a, a four walls, you know, kind yeah. of minister. I'm, gotcha. I'm, not, I'm not that person. <laughs> My heart is for the nations. My heart is for the world globally. And, and I know that God has a desire to reach people who, who have never heard the gospel or those that are on the fence and those that have heard competing views and and he wants someone to say, here am I, send me. And I'm saying <laughs> in front of you <laughs> and your listening audience, God, send me. You know, I will, I will go. I will go. But it can't be just me. It has to be the body. It has to be the body of Christ. We got to link up arms together. And we have to, has to be a, a corporate anointing and push to fight the darkness in this world today. Got you. And then... I know you do a lot of partnerships. So is there anybody that you're looking forward to partnering with? I know y'all, um, when we met, I know you, you guys were talking about women, women's empowerment. They're into women's empowerment. So are there mm -hmm. any groups that you would love to link up with? Well, I, there are groups that I'm already involved with. There, yeah. There's a wonderful uh, group of women, war, warriors on the move in every nation. Women, that's a you know, <laughs> acronym for women. Um, and these women, we have been doing spiritual warfare conferences for the past 17 oh, years. Awesome. Yeah. What's and the so next one? <laughs> the next one will be, we just had um, the one for this year in, uh, da, 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 in August. Okay. Okay. And so next year, it'll be around the same time, August, probably the third weekend of August. And we just, I'm telling you, we just go there. We go there. We really go there. Spiritual <laughs> warfare. We're fighting for for our country, for our nation. We're fighting for for the hearts of of people worldwide. You know, we're just we're radical enough to believe that that God is able, that God is able. So yeah, I partner with people now in, in that regard, and I'm looking forward to more partnerships. I can't say, you know, anyone in particular you know, <laughs> that I'm looking forward to linking arms with, but I yeah. am open and I'm definitely available. If your heart is is to see God's will done, I, <laughs> hey, gotcha. call me, <laughs> call me, and they can always find me on my website www.sherrybryant and I'm going to spell it <laughs> S-H-E-R-R-I B-R-Y-A-N-T music.com so you can leave a message for me there um, you can email me at sherrybryantmusic at gmail.com so yeah or, or my Facebook page you know Sherry Bryant Music so yeah please reach out and I would love to partner with you got you and then any other last remarks anything that we didn't cover that you're that so they thorough. Know. I know. Oh gosh, what, what else? My goodness, what else can I say? I don't know. Um, wow, Naomi. Well, I just, I, I just want to to encourage people to to follow your dreams. You know, gotcha. I'm I'm walking in purpose. I'm walking in destiny, and I'm going to continue to press towards the mark of the high calling and I'm going to grab a hold of that thing for which Christ has grabbed a hold of me. You know, I'm, I'm doing that. Okay. But it's not, and I said this earlier, but I got to reiterate, it's not 
just about Sherry Bryant doing what God has equipped and empowered her to do. I am effective, more effective when we are together. I am, gotcha. I am more powerful <laughs> when I got powerful people next to me. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, so I, I just, my final words <laughs> to your audience and those that are listening on Facebook is just to let you know, you do the thing that God has equipped you to do. And let's do it together. And I believe that we can make a real difference in this world for Christ. Oh, awesome. And then before you go, I know the younger audience, they're probably going to want to know, do you have an Instagram, um, mm -hmm. Twitter? Yeah, and true, okay. yes, true Worshipper. That's my Instagram page. Um, I haven't started the, the Twitter page yet. No problem. <laughs> I haven't started the, the Twitter feed yet, but that's the next thing I got to do. Okay. That's the next thing I'm going to do. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you, Naomi. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me today. You're welcome.